this again is something which is asked a lot of times uh, and everyone should be aware of timing sense so timing sense is a sense of the, it's basically applied to timing law okay and how it is applied is basically if you want to say that there are basically three types of timing sense one is positive unit and meaning of that is if once input signal rises then the output signal also rises okay then it is known as positive unit arc which means basically if a is rising then the output is also going to rise so it's basically following the input this kind of timing arc is known as in timing sense terms positive unit positive unit means when input is rising output is also rising and that is positive unit now when input is rising and that causes output to fall that timing sense is known as negative unit okay so if input is rising that causes output to fall that timing sense is known as negative unit so positive unit is when input rises and that causes output to rise or when input falls and that causes output to fall that is known as positive unit so basically it's following the same sense whatever you do for whatever happens at the input same kind of transition happens to out at the output if input rises output rises if input falls output falls then it is known as positive unit if input to output are in opposite direction then it is known as negative unit so if let's say input rises output falls or input falls and output rises then the sense is known as negative unit you can have another kind of sense timing sense on timing arc where you cannot determine let's say if input rises output can either rise or fall then that kind of timing sense is known as non unit what non unit means is you don't know when input rises it can happen that output falls or it can also happen when out, output rise for example this is typically xor cell right when input rises output can rise or fall depending upon what is present in the on the pp then this kind of timing sense or timing arc is known as non unit timing arc 